Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you. What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. I do want to let you know there will be an extended reading up for this reading on Patreon where I will give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to get and keep this person for good and explain manifestation in a way where things stick. So I know um, I preach robotic affirming a lot, you know, scripting a lot. Um, but I also know that in order for me to have made these techniques effective and you know work pretty much every time and work pretty fast too i did do a lot of research a lot of reading a lot of neuroscience research um just you know a lot of grasping of concepts having things broken down to me highlighting annotating all of that in order for these techniques or whatever you want to call them to be deemed effective okay like i know for a lot of us you know we grew up thinking that like okay we need to you know um we need to be instructed right like we kind of, a lot of us like instructions a lot of us like being told the explanation behind certain things because we grew up um in a logical community in a logical society right and like having logic behind something helped us understand the concepts fast like you know you were able to learn math when people explained it in terms of like fruits or vegetables or like you know all those like different um scenarios right so like that that's why um i have the extended reading on patrons to really help you break down manifestation concepts in order for you to again, deem the technique that you use to be a lot more effective, okay? But I do want to let you know that, like, I have so much free advice on my channel on the Love Assumption playlist, okay? And the extended reading on Patreon is just optional. Um, but I do have, like, unlimited readings, like, unlimited manifestation advice, like, way more than I have on my channel. Like, you know, it's $5 a month um, for just, like, unlimited extended readings where, like, I give manifestation advice that's, like, useful no matter what like even if you watch a reading from like november of last year the extended reading that manifestation advice will still apply although the initials might be specific to that reading but anyways i digress um uh let's go ahead and get started with the reading let's see how your person is feeling about you we got the three of wands the hierophant ace of swords queen of cups okay i love this okay what a like mix of cards like all these cards are so different um okay let me actually just turn on my light uh i feel like this not enough light right now um one sec there we go okay that's so much better okay i think i'm just gonna hold it because I, I don't know how to i don't have a stand for it but anyways we got the three of wands okay so with the three of wands i'm seeing like there is some sort of distance situation that is coming to an end so whether this be physical distance or you haven't talked in a while this person is definitely coming closer to you okay and this is clarified by the higher font so i feel like this person is getting really serious about this connection about the situation okay i feel like a lot of their friends could be getting into relationships maybe a lot of your friends are getting into relationships and are married and you know th that's the same case with them and they're just like you know what like i have to you know go after my goals and dreams my when it comes to relationships love and like you're the only person that they want to be with you're the only person that they can see having a future with okay i feel like whenever they think about their future they think about you and they're currently thinking about ways to be near you ways to like you know be in your city ways to like you know contact you ways to get emotionally closer to you you know maybe if you live in the same place but there's been some sort of distance or like you know some sort of disconnect okay um we also got here the ace of swords so i feel like with this ace of swords um this person has a lot of um what do you call like they, they think a lot about you okay i feel like you live in their mind rent free and you know they do want to start something new they do want to start you know they they want to have a new beginning in this connection i feel like you know they've had this like newfound appreciation for love and relationships and commitment okay i feel like if this person was a little bit commitment averse this person has definitely been um you know, changing their mind about that. And I feel like a lot of it could have to do with the fact that maybe, you know, you've been affirming. So they've been seeing signs of you, seeing your name, seeing signs of commitment. Like, especially if you've been affirming for this person to commit to you, they could be around friends that are, you know, getting married or a lot of weddings are happening around them. And, you know, they're just like, okay, well, it's time for me to get serious too. You know, some people are influenced by friends and society and community. I feel like that is your person, but it, it, it's good in this case because it's, you know, I feel like they're being influenced in a positive way. Um, and with this ace of swords i feel like they're gonna tell you this they're gonna be like hey you know i've really been thinking about us i've been thinking about my future our future oh my gosh this reminds me of that song just a dream by nelly it was only it was only just a dream i was in the 
something like I'm thinking. Okay, I, I, I don't remember the lyrics, but it, it's a beautiful song. And it just reminded me, uh, this reading reminded me of that song. So do look that up. Um, it's like, yeah, thinking about me, thinking about us, who we gonna be, open my eyes. It was only just a dream. Yeah, and then we also got here, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing with this Queen of Cups, you guys, this person, oh my gosh, like they know that you are the creme de la creme. They know that you are the cream of the crop. You are so, so, so admired. You're like the perfect, you know, bachelor, bachelorette. There's so many people that want to, you know, give you a proposal be with you and that, that's because they feel an emotional connection with you again there's a lot of attractive people you know there always will be but not everyone gives people the same feeling that you do okay a lot of people think you're really intelligent you have a lot going on for you you're very uh you know level-headed and like you're the type of person that people fall in love with i feel like you know you could go on a date and like you know people would fall deeply in love with you deeply in love with your personality you just know how to connect to people on a deeper level you're the type of person that gets to know people on a deeper level okay and that's one of the more attractive qualities about you you know people really feel safe being with you i feel like a lot of people could have come to you with problems because you know they trust you and again they feel really safe being around you okay we also got here the two of pentacles yeah i'm seeing with this two of pentacles um there is some sort of balancing act going on i feel like there's a lot going on in this person's life you know um they have a lot of responsibilities when it comes to um you know just like life in general they've been juggling their career they've been um you know maybe I, i'm seeing something to do with like family duties or friends you know they've been around friends a lot um balancing their social life and career um but especially their career i do feel like the material realm is relevant when it comes to this connection maybe you could be in different places or locations or something along the lines of that or maybe they're really busy because you know they're really busy with their job and work and it's just been a really intense period for them okay we also got here the ten of wands yeah so I, I do feel like you know this is something that kind of stresses them out at times okay but i'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick some clarifying cards to see what this ten of wands represents okay uh yeah we got the knight of wands okay so i feel like you know um this person you guys like it, it's sort of been stressing them out because okay I, I feel like this person has dated around here and there right but you know they haven't really been in anything committed in a while and it's been stressing them out like that gap you know that bridge from like you know going from casual relationships to being in a serious full-on committed relationship like you know they, they are scared they are scared of you know what could happen it, it is a big deal for them not because like you know they don't want to commit to one person I, I don't feel like that's really the case here it's more so like you know will they be enough will they get their heart broken because you know they, they do have trust issues i'm not gonna lie a lot of the people that you know do end up having a lot of casual relationships you know they don't get into serious relationships you know they have trust issues that they haven't really processed and that's why they just keep things casual so it's like oh even if it ends like you know can i really be mad can i really be sad frustrated disappointed right so i feel like having that transition you know go, transitioning from being in casual relationships to a serious committed relationship it, it's a pretty big deal for them and i feel like for a lot of you if you're manifesting you know commitment with them i feel like you know this could also be bringing up your own like commitment issues or like you know and trust issues or ego or like you know whatever the case may be okay a lot of the times reality is just a mirror it, it just shows you where you're at sometimes it's like you know we do we think we want a relationship but deep down like we are scared or we have you know this fear of failure like oh what if it doesn't work out or what if it does work out and there's a lot more to lose okay so i feel like if you have been manifesting this person or this situation and the connection has been going a little bit haywire i feel like you're in the transitional period okay you're going from being in that you know uh, phase to like something more you know deeper committed like you're changing for the better i feel like you know it's just a phase it's just a cycle okay you're about to reach the next stage of your relationship the next stage of your you know um yeah relationship even like mentality when it comes to relationship very very soon and i'm filming this you know like towards the end of august so like you know th there's definitely that transition between summer to fall so i feel like you know in the next season like it, things are gonna be a lot better if like this last season these past couple of days weeks months have been a little bit tough for you i do feel like the rest of the year is going to be looking up for you but this is a timeless reading so from whenever you are watching this okay um let's go ahead and pick some uh, love oracle cards okay do stay tuned for the extended reading on patreon and the link to that will be in the description box below i love our deep conversations they open up my mind definitely um they, your person loves the way that you think the way that you perceive things the way that you perceive reality okay you do truly bring out the best in them and that's something that like you know they want more of they really love your energy your vibe everything okay um so just hang in there if you're like again if you're manifesting this person and things have been going downhill that's actually a sign that things are working better and faster than before okay sometimes like you know uh, i'm not saying there needs to be purging but sometimes things do go like haywire uh before like you know 
it, it, the manifestation comes in fully and stays permanently, okay? But on the, in the extended reading, I'm going to talk about, you know, how to uh, just be able to keep your manifestations, have your manifestations using the path of least resistance and also be picking initials. So yeah, um, I also offer in-depth readings as well as manifestation coaching and I custom make subliminals as well. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you will find my website. You can sign up for those services through my website. And yeah, I will end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.